What's going on guys? We are back today with another showcase video for you and we are going to look at the new card that just dropped as always because I can't resist. And it is Lichen. It's a cool looking card, guys. I like this one. When played, if your deck has exactly three under the microscope cards, your funky fungi cards, wherever they are, gain plus 30 until played and vice versa. So plus 30, that's real strong, especially for a one drop, giving your cards that much power. So quite a bit. What's that? Six cards going to get 30 power. So whoo. What's that, 100 and, 180 plus the 5? So 185 for 1. <laughs> that is insane. So fantastic card, but it does require you to play under the microscope in Funky Fungi, which right now is not the greatest. There are um, There's definitely a need for some better cards, but we'll take a look at them and see what we've got. So micro, uh, my Mycoplasma is pretty much an auto-include. In this type of deck, this card is fantastic, even without the, the buff it's getting. When played, the card opposite loses 50 and costs minus 2 perm. So just that ding of minus 50 perms, really strong, for the, especially going in the late game. You've got Nematode when drawn if your deck contains all seven, 7 albums, which this doesn't. So we're not really playing it for the ability here. We're just playing it for a 5 drop that has 75 power. And is going to get a buff from Lichen and from... Oh, is it getting a buff from this? No, just getting a buff. Wait, you're under my... Oh, and Funky Fungi. Yeah, so it is getting a buff from Scarlet Elf Cup as well. So let's go ahead and read it. When played, if played next to any mythical creature card, you're under the microscope and Funky Fungi cards, wherever they are, gain plus 26 until played. So we got to keep that in mind. We've got two mythical creatures, Manicore and Lich need to try to play scarlet elf cup next to but we're also trying to play them next to cyborg so cyborg in the middle hopefully get a buff there so we have some options in in case we can't get it but definitely want to try to do both those so it's a statue of liberty deck as always love this card gives plus 21 for six science basically the whole deck anything that's six of gets the buff so the entire deck so can't beat that Let's look at the rest of these. We've got Octopus Stinkhorn, just a nice three drop. It's going to buff Halloween plus six into a plate. I don't think I dropped any Halloween in here. I thought about it, but opted to not do it. So I uh, decided to go into the tax theme. So instead, I felt like that was kind of a neat uh, ad with uh, Mana Core being one of the cards that I wanted with Mythical Creatures. So we segued into a tax deck. Uh, also, rocking Indigo Milk Cap, probably one of the better mushroom cards. When drawn, gain plus 25 until this is returned to your deck. And when returned, if it's on or before round, turn, uh, round two, turn to a random card in both players' hand, lock permanently. If it's after round two, turn two, a random card in both players' hands, lock for this round. Probably one of my favorite cards in this game. I just love what this thing does. So that's why I play it. Uh, we've got Lich. When drawn, if you're trailing by 50 or more, gain plus 10 perm. Uh, when played, you can get plus 10 perm if, you're lo if you lost one round. And when returned, if you lost the turn, you get another plus 10 perm. So potential there for plus 30 perm. Can't beat that. Manicore just uh, hits our opponent's arts and culture and history cards. Plus 2 energy for 3 turns. So definitely can hurt them quite a bit. Scorpion Fly going to steal more energy. So this is one of them weeks if they don't think about energy can definitely hurt them because you have that big starting 80 energy, but uh, only seven on the regen. So you can definitely hurt yourself if you're not paying attention. Uh, rocking the Renaissance when drawing your arts and culture cards gain plus 10 until played. And if you have six or fewer, they gain another plus 18. So we're going to be getting that plus 28 until played. King Midas did see a nerf recently, but we're going to try it out anyway. When drawn, your opponent's legendary cards in hand cost plus two energy for three turns. Used to be plus three. Ragnarok also seeing a nerf. Uh, didn't realize that, honestly, right until I uh, played it for the first time. And I was like, oh, wait, I forgot about that. So uh, when drawn, your opponent's cards in hand cost plus two this turn, which it did before. 
but now your cards also cost plus one energy for the turn. So it does hurt you a little bit as well. So we're going to try to play that around. Hopefully some cheap, some of these cheap drops up here when we play it, that'll work good. Center Claws, when drawing your opponent's cards with 50 or more base power in hand, cost plus one energy until played, and your cards in hand with 40 or less base power cost minus one. We have quite a few that are 40 or less, so... Uh, definitely a lot up here at the top. One, two, three, four, five. I see right out the gate six, seven, eight cards. So quite a few can get targeted. Uh, we've got Art Deco going to give us that little bit of energy. This is like our only, only energy regen gainer. So deck don't need too many. We've got our curve quite low. Archangel, just fantastic card overall. Going to give us the plus 25 on two cards and plus 30 on another one for permanent on the, on the other one. Permafrost, just a great uh, counter right now for the birds deck, so I'm running it. When drawing your opponent's life on land cards, wherever they are, cost plus two energy this round. And we mentioned Cyborg already, going to get that plus 20 until played. Uh, if we can play it between two life on land cards for six random life on land and six random uh, science cards. So there's the deck, guys. Tapping into that taxing. You guys know I love taxing decks. It's just so fun. Maybe not for the people I play, but, you know, for me. It's because, uh, you know, I'm evil like that. <laughs> As always, though, guys, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. Always helps the channel out, and we're trying to grow this bad boy, you know, see, see how big we can get it. All right, let's see what we're up against here. Oh, science deck, so might not be the greatest for my Manticore, unfortunate. All right, we do have... Scarlet Elf with Lich. So that might be a good one to play next to. And what else? Probably want to keep you just in case we need you for Cyborg. So let's go ahead and drop King Midas. Get him cycling back. All right, he's coming out the gate strong here. Ooh, QR code doing me dirty. That hit me over 100 minus. All right, starting a little behind. Oh, Manicore did hit one card. Look at that. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, what do we want? do here let's do let's do it like this uh, I'm gonna do it like this don't think we're winning this round so I'm not gonna not gonna try super hard to he got the jump on us so let's let him have it 26. Yeah, he's definitely going to get it. Oh, we done locked our mana core out perm. That's unfortunate. I think we needed that for our cyborg there, didn't we? Probably should have thought of that before I did that. It's a bad play, Brandon. Bad play. I'm just going to play these two. Let them have this round because I want to save this card for my cyborg. Since we lost this anyway. Right now, just trying to get him to eat up his uh, energy as best I can. Going to help us here into the late game as he's running low. Do I just play two? What did I have in the start? I know I played one, two, three, only three so far. So four, five, there is one more out there. Let's risk it and just play the two. We can afford to lose this round too. It's not the end of the world. Not too far behind either. Ooh. 
really need to draw that life on land card here though. Don't want to wait too much longer. Oh, unfortunate. Well, I feel like we have to wait now because we know it's the next draw. Let's do it. Why not? I'm going to get punished for it. Yep. Yeah. Alright, well, it is what it is. It's uh, unfortunate. Hopefully we, his energy does run out, and that's uh, what we're hoping for now. Scorpion Fly going to steal a little bit of that for me. And he is still playing cards pretty hard, so that is good for us. Unfortunate we drew Lichen almost at the as the very last card. You kind of want to get that buff right out the gate and get it going. So, a little unfortunate there. All right, so we did get... We've got to play you next to you. We did get our statue. Probably need to play... You though. So I want to get that buff. Yeah, let's do it like that. I want to get that buff now. We got Statue of Liberty as well. Alright, he's down to hardly any energy now, so this is where the tides I think are gonna start turning. And it triggered Lich too, which is nice. Tax him up a little bit more. All right, so 10's the lowest he can have, so he's going to at least get 10. All right, center, do him dirty. Oh, just one? All right, but we're hitting him there. That one hurts. Looks like he didn't think about his energy. He never had, never did play a card that uh, regens anything, so that is going to hurt him. Is he not playing any cards? Oh, he conceded. <laughs> Look at that. Even when we lose two rounds, we still win the game. So that's how it works, guys. That's why you need to consider your energy when you play. Very important. All right, let's run it back. See if we can steal some more uh, Rage Quit games. You know, I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> That's why we play these troll decks. But, uh, yeah. What else? What else? So I told you guys I've been playing a lot of League of Legends again. So I've been having a lot of fun with that. So buddy at work of mine actually speaking of different games here he uh we were talking today and i didn't realize but he's been uh, kind of getting back into magic the gathering a little bit and i used to love me some magic so we were talking about that so i don't know it's got me kind of itching now since we work together to jump back in so it might be something i do might start playing a little bit more see if uh I don't know, might even record some videos. I'm still thinking about it. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are Magic the Gathering fans, if you'd like to see me do some content on that maybe in the future or not, you know. Could be something fun to kind of branch out into. Definitely more of an audience there, I will say that. <laughs> you know, it never hurts. Might even bring some more people over to queue once they start seeing my stuff over there, you know. You never know. <laughs> We'll see. Nothing's nothing's for sure. All right, we're going to get that cyborg down, get him triggered. This is going to lock a card up. I'm hoping it locks Center Claws here because it's probably the worst card here in our hand. 
Don't want to lock up mycoplasma, that's for sure. Strong ability. Center claw is strong too, but I'd prefer it gets the lockout. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, opponent's stealing energy. So we're going to have a little battle back and forth now. It's not, not great for us. And he's taxing too. Look at this. Ooh, I think we're just going to go for the max here, actually. So let's do it like that. Hopefully that space card is nice and juicy. We can smack it down hard here. Ooh, identity theft. That could hurt. Okay, good. I think we got it. I think we got it. All right, he's down to 23 energy there, so we're doing a little bit better on the taxing side, it looks like. Let's do it like this. Ooh, scorpion fly back and forth, so we're just keeping our four each there. He did have a better turn though as far as that goes all right i steal from you you steal from me we call it even we call it even <laughs> all right we definitely need to get our art deco online since he is doing the energy deal there Alright. Ooh, he's getting the plus two on Big Fan. That's unfortunate for us. But yeah, I ain't played Magic in probably a good year since uh, I started playing this game. So, definitely a little behind on the sets. So, uh, I think there's probably like three, four, maybe even five new sets that have dropped since I started playing last. So... That's the downside, is I would have to slowly start gathering up cards for most likely the new standard, so that, uh, you know, I'm my content is somewhat relevant, but always a downside. Ooh, he's hitting my energy regen too, down to six now. That's kind of bad for us. He is looking bad, too, down to 11. So we'll see. Hmm, it's really anybody's game here. Okay, I think we're just going to play the two cards. I really want to hold on to Cyborg. Because I think the next draw is going to be what we need. Man, he's gaining all his perm energy, though. Unfortunate. My one art deco is not enough. At least against a tax deck. Uh oh. And I'm getting losing four now. Yikes. All right. Well, at least, our, at least 10 is our min, so this deck might be able to operate somewhat decent at 10. So, let's see. Let's got some cheap cards in here. Debating if I want to save Nematode here. So only, if he's only playing two and we have a Mycoplasma, that might be enough. It's risky, but I think I'm going to risk it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just because Nematode's hitting so hard right now, felt like it was worth saving. Hmm. 
Let's do it like that. Yep, losing three is not hurting us now. Don't matter anymore. Let's see here. Do we go buff? Do we go with the buff? Yeah, I think so. Let's do that. Identity theft with only two? Ooh. Okay. We got a good shot here. 183. If he's still just playing two cards. Definitely have a shot. Okay. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to do it like this. Best I can do. Might be enough. If he plays three, we could be in trouble, though. Nope, just two. Did we get it? I think we got it. Whew, close game. Definitely made me sweat a little bit there, especially because his King Cobra was hurting me. But that's the deck, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think it did pretty well. I mean, we played some weird up against some weird decks though I, I think it can do quite a bit better if we're not getting taxed ourselves and certain decks it plays against really well like the birds just because of that permafrost and some other stuff going on there so i don't know i think it's a uh, pretty decent let me know what you guys think and uh, as always thanks for watching have a good night guys